Hi guys, today I'm going to be having a little look at the Wild Star Beta. I've been signed up for a while, but I've never actually been invited to do it, so now I've got my pre-order in, it's time to actually have a go and get in-game. Uh, I've had a little have a look around the character screen before, but my computer crashed, so I couldn't have an actual go at uh, getting into it, so this is basically from the beginning. Uh, I've made myself a medic, I decided I want to try that first, I like a little bit of healing, so you've got some customization options, it's alright, you've got few options in there, not as many as I'd like, but you know, it's beta, they might add some more. They've got some good emo hairstyles and stuff. Oh dear, you can look like a twat, but I'm going to pick corn rolls because I'm a badass. Okay, so I've got my guy. At this point I couldn't quite work out what to do next, I have to enter a name for him, but I went, oh no, that looks like create, oh no, it's not create, oh no, you Okay, so from the top, sped up this time. Uh, let's go in there. Great guy, Professor Badass, you know the full drill. So make him cool, make him awesome, give him a sweet moustache, and give him a name. It's going to be Badger. It's not going to be Badger. It's going to be L Badger. There we go. And there he is. I don't normally show cutscenes, but you got to see that Professor Badass. He rises. Okay, let's have a little look into the game itself. Uh, I'm going to be running it sped up. I'm going to be running at sped up speed because you don't want to watch the whole thing. Uh, you probably notice a little bit of a sense of deja vu in there. It looks pretty similar to pretty much any M any MMO on the market at the moment. But then you don't really want to reinvent the wheel all the time. And those examples that have tried have generally not worked out very well. So if once you get into it, if you're familiar with MMOs, you're going to be pretty comfortable straight away. I've had to jump in and do my key binding straight away. Uh, it always turns up with things like uh, keyboard turning and stuff like that. So I just turn it off. That's fine. Okay. Through the options. Go, Badger. There we go. And we dodge and shit like that. Okay. That's fine. Enough of that. Okay, so quests. Quests, they're, uh, they're pretty much what you'd expect. Um, the only difference to normal is the fact that your quests are encapsulated within speech bubbles rather than separate screens and inventory panel, uh, sorry, interface panels. But you know, it's not really different to anything else. So let's have a little run around. Oh yeah, we're doing this, we're doing that. Oh, can't really work it out. Um, there are some useful things on here, like the way to, oh, there we go. I'm going with my key bindings again. There are things like uh, pointers to find you on the next part of your mission. I hadn't actually found these at this point, so I was kind of running blind. Um, so going around and having a look and talking to some citizens. Okay, there's no combat in here. And then running around a little bit more. Okay, like I said, there's a, a little bit of confusion on my part. I had drunk a little bit by this point in the evening. I hadn't actually got to do this until after work. Ah, it's a cutscene. Okay, what are you doing? Oh, you hit him. Okay. Well, okay, anyway. Moving on a little bit. It's a few minutes later. I've got a weapon, uh, so I can actually show you a little bit of combat. Uh, the What you're seeing is me hitting something that I'm not supposed to be hitting at all, but, you know, that's life at the end of the day. Um, so I'm just going to stop the video about here just for a moment to show you this. This is the quest arrow. You can click this at any point. It'll guide you to your next qu uh, quest point. It's quite useful. It doesn't really show it on the map. Um, it's not quite as uh, lead you by the hand as something like World of Warcraft, but it's a nice little pointer if you want it and if you don't want to see it. You don't have to look at it, so which that's, that's quite cool. It's a nice little, uh, a nice little, a little addition. So uh, I've got to go and collect some tissue samples from these Dominion monstrosities. So I'll actually uh, get a chance to get into combat with my with my one skill. Um, here we go. Oh, there's one. Okay, so you you can see there is uh, the telegraph system. When you put down your attacks, basically everything telegraphs out in front of you. It gives you a shape or a cone or a square or something similar. And that's a pretty cool way of doing things. Uh, I'm going to go on uh, in a moment after this fight. I'm just going to go on uh, a couple of hours for a moment just to show you what the end result of that can look like. I've got a load of guys on me. I think I'm level 5 at this point. So, whoa. Here we go. So, I'll stick down. Oh, there you go. My dot field and my stun. And you yeah. So, a bit of dodging, a bit of cooldowns. So, so that's the, the sort of end game. What is it's in game, but you know, that's that's what it gets to start looking like once you've got a few levels under your belt. In game at level 5. Whoa! Okay, let's go back to where we were. And back to full speed. Good stuff. Okay, so going around, killing some monstrosities, that's cool. It's all gonna be fairly similar at the moment. Yeah, probably it's not gonna be anything you haven't seen before a few times. Uh, quests are pretty standard, go and look out and run around and see what you like and do what you like and talk to people. Uh, so you've got a lot of running around. This is the uh, the tutorial area, which I'm doing at the moment, and it is fairly lengthy, but you get a chance to 
test out all the various systems of the game, of which there are quite a few which you might not be familiar with. There are quite a few that I wasn't familiar with, uh, but there are quite a few which just lead you around the houses, like this one, for example, when you just have to go and click on five statues. Hurrah! Isn't this good fun? It's not good fun but you have to do it anyway, then you have to pick a thing that you want to carry as a buffer a little bin, who cares, so anyway, let's move on. Right, next bit, okay, so the the feel of it is very mobile overall, apart from the telegraphing system, you have cool things like double jumping and you get a sprint, which I haven't found yet, but I will find later. Um, so overall, it feels a, a little bit of a, a bit like wow, but um, in a good way, in a good way rather than a bad way. Uh, oh, here we go, we're moving on. We're moving down to the planet. I've uh, fast forwarded on here about an hour. A uh, bit more of uh, what we, it was more of the same up in the ship. Anyway, so I uh, get to show you down on the planet, the sort of starter area. I'm, uh, I've got a few more skills now as well. Go and have a chat with some people. Um, apparently I'm going to stand around for a little while, so uh, I should probably have edited this, edited this bit out, but I won't. Well, I haven't rather. Uh, um, oh, here we go, back into, there we go. Uh, so, let's get on with it. Sit down, get some quests, same as usual to be honest. You go and you pick up little bits of lore like that. Like, so I've got a few more skills as you can see. Uh, it's, it's fairly similar. The combat, as I said, is really mobile. It's good fun. Uh, it feels a little bit Guild Wars 2-ish, but you have a more visual style with the telegraphing system. Uh, you can see my resources down at the bottom, the four little blobs, uh, they get used up when I do one of some of my big attacks. And then the uh, the purple bar is focus. I don't actually know what that's used for yet, I presume it's another kind of a, uh, another resource system, because uh, I haven't got that far in the game yet. Uh, my health bar, you can see there's a, there's a green and a, a white bit. And the white bit is a shield, which is mitigation, the green is health. And they sort of go up and down together, and you can have various things which affect how much of uh, your health uh, your shield mitigate well the, the percentage of your shield mitigates in essence so the more mitigation you get the more you have protection you have while that shield is there as you can see it's pretty standard MMO stuff I'm running around finding things in the field and shit one thing I'm going to show you slow down a little bit is uh, challenges which show up every so often I've got three minutes to kill a certain amount of uh, oh no not kill sorry I've got to go and get some pearls around here and I've got to get a certain amount in three minutes which isn't very difficult um, once you get done with that, which I will have done in a moment, or will I? There we go. Now I will. Five and six. Uh, once you get it done, you get these rewards, which is a kind of, sort of lottery loot reward thing. You click on the one that seems the most useful, and then you don't get it, because uh, the game will choose one of the other ones for you, inevitably. Uh, so there we are, so it's chosen the one I didn't want. Let's uh, let's move on, back to full speed, so uh, running around again. The overall look of it is very cartoony, as you can see. I like the look of it. I don't, personally, it's, it's something that's never bothered me, cartoony looks. You've got things like uh, uh, stylized games, like Cloud Build at the moment is looking really good. It's a sort of a, a cel-shaded, runny-roundy, go-fast, RSI-inducing mash of fun but anyway this isn't quite that but uh, as I said cartoony style good fun you can see what I'm doing oh no Ooh, okay you see that just wasn't useful you could see for a moment that I was uh, having a look at one of my path uh, uh, nodes which I have a little scan box because I'm a scientist and I have to scan things um, but then I cut the video out because I've done the audio after the video and I'm not going back and re-editing the video because I'm lazy. Uh, so I've skipped on a little way again, I skipped up a couple more levels, so I've got a few more abilities inside a ship now. Uh, it's carrying on through the general narrative of the game, which is, it's okay, you know, I think it's going to be a little bit more freeform once you get a little bit higher up, there's a bit more space to run around. It's pretty enclosed at the moment in terms of the the linear nature of it and where it wants to lead you but that's not you know that's not a bad thing especially for the first couple of hours of a game when you're trying to get the to hang, hang, get the hang of exactly what the hell you're trying to do there are uh, a few systems in here which uh, will be demonstrated in a moment um, there's one thing which I'm about to do and I'm about to show which I had to go in and to activate a console I have to press F a load of times I don't understand I don't like it when games do that here we go oh yeah fill up the bar by pressing F a load of times it's, it's just pointless if you're gonna have an activation button just activate it pressing a button a load more times isn't any more fun so never mind right so that's uh, that's about it on my my initial first look there was a couple of hours of play condensed into about nine and a half minutes so uh, 
good going me uh, and uh, several minutes of waffling uh, last little bit is Professor Badass he's going through some of his uh, his available emotions so you've got them if you want um, I actually reached level 6 at the end of this so I'm going to have a look at the PvP because that opens up but I'll do that in a separate video because uh, it deserves its own video it's deserving of it hurrah okay so see you there ciao goodbye